A pleasant day everyone. Welcome to our session today. Let's continue our discussion on implicit differentiation. So last time we are given this uh, expression and we are asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x. Uh, were you able to practice this one class? What is your answer? So what is the derivative of y with respect to x? So the solution to this is just the same to what we have learned last time. Okay, so let us solve this problem now. Okay, if you look if you look at the given, so we have here how many terms? One. This is our first term. This is our second term, and this is our third term. On the right side, we have a constant. So as mentioned before, so if you're given this uh, function, uh, y is not express explicitly given as a function of x. So the only way to differentiate it is to do the, or to apply the implicit differentiation uh, rule. Okay, so there is to uh, take derivative of its term on both sides with respect to a certain variable but now we are asked to find a derivative y with respect to x so it should be with respect to x our differentiation uh, should be with respect to x okay so the first as I mentioned last time if you have this kind of uh, given so this is a product so you may use this uh, formula for, for the product rule if you are uh, if you have u and b uh, the product of u and b so with respect to x so you just use this formula uh, u the first factor we have the first factor second factor so u the first factor times the uh, derivative of the second factor Okay, our second factor is v, so derivative of it with respect to x. Then plus, we have v times the derivative of u now with respect to x. Okay, and take note class, uh, if you look at other uh, reference uh, resources, reference book, it can also be written something like this, the derivative of u times v so derivative u times v with respect to x okay so this is equal to u okay this is the first factor times the derivative of what the derivative of what is the second factor v so derivative of v with respect to x okay so it can be written in this uh, manner then plus the second factor which is v then times the derivative of the second factor uh, the first factor which is u i'm oh, sorry this is this is u and with respect to x okay so they are just the same class so you can write in this way or this way okay so following the uh, formula the product rule for the first term so we have u which is x squared times the derivative of v or v is y so derivative y uh, with respect to x okay and then we have v no? so plus plus v which is y times the derivative of uh, 
So again, this is our U. <clears throat> and this is our V. Okay, so V times the derivative of U. Our U is X squared. So the derivative, oh, sorry. Uh, we have u times derivative of v with respect to x plus v times derivative of okay so derivative of x squared with respect to x then <clears throat> plus so this is now the product no? using the product uh, rule then plus uh, the second term we have two times no? power formula two times y times the derivative of the derivative of y with respect to x Then plus again power rule so 3y squared then times the, the derivative of y with respect to x then derivative of a constant now on the right side our constant is 4 so derivative of 4 with respect to x so that is equal to 0 <coughs> Okay. Right, so we have x squared x squared times derivative of y with respect to x Okay, so this is multiplication then plus okay, so power rule so uh, derivative of x squared so that is 2x then you have y here so we just write it directly so 2x okay then times y so i rearrange it uh, immediately class then times derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1 right okay so you can write it so derivative of the base with respect to x Okay, then plus <clears throat> we have 2 times y times the derivative of y with respect to x. Then plus uh, 3y squared. derivative of y with respect to x and this is equal to 0 okay and then rearranging finding the common factor so okay so we have here dx over dx which is equal to 1 And then we have, so we are rearranged this already. Then on the first term, the first term we have common factor. Uh, I'm sorry, we have this factor dy over dx. This is our second term. Okay, this is our third term. Our third term also have dy over dx. And our fourth term, we have also have dy over dx. Okay, so factoring out common. Uh, so the common is, so I'll just put it here. Yeah, so the common okay just change the color so factor out factoring out common which is dy over dx all right and okay so for the first term so we have here x squared times dy over dx so this term here divided by dy over dx so what is left is only x squared and then for the third term, so this third term here, 
it has also dy over the x then the coefficient is 2y or 2y so divide this uh, term by dy over the x so what is left is only 2y okay then plus so for the fourth term okay so we have dy over the x the coefficient is 3y squared so you divide this by the common factor which is dy over dx so what is left is just 3 y squared okay and this is equated to 0 all right now since you are asked to solve for dy over dx so to solve for dy over dx you just divide both sides by x squared plus 2y plus 3y squared so therefore Ah, by the way, class, we missed something. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we missed something. Okay. We need to... The second term, we forget to consider the second term. The second term, this one here, we have uh, 2xy times dx over dx, which is equal to 1. So this is only 2xy. Alright, so let's uh, transpose this to the other side. Okay, so transposing this to the other side and change the sign. So this is net zero. So this should be... Okay, so when you transpose this to the other side, so this becomes minus 2xy all right okay so now solving for dy over dx you just divide both sides by x squared plus 2y plus 3y squared okay so divide no? we have to divide Okay, divide both both sides by let's change this to Okay, so dividing both sides by x squared plus 2y plus 3y squared. Okay, so after you divide both sides by this uh, expression, so we'll have our final answer. Uh, dy dy over dx equal to minus 2xy divided by x squared plus 2y plus 3y squared okay so this is our answer okay so thank you I hope you uh, were able to solve this uh, item class And then for your additional practice, try to uh, solve this problem here. Okay, so you also have to find the dy over dx for this given function. So again, uh, for the concept, <coughs> it says here that if y is a function of x, but y cannot be expressed in terms of x explicitly, so we can still find the derivative of y with respect to x, dy over dx, or y prime. 
by implicit differentiation. So given an equation relating x and y, so we differentiate both sides of the equation or differentiate all terms of the equation with respect to x and solve for dy over dx or y prime by simple algebraic manipulation. So that is the rule in implicit differentiation. Okay, so I hope everything is uh, clear. And if you have any question, you may uh, drop your message or send your comments in our group chat. All right, class, uh, see you again in our uh, next video. Uh, once again, stay safe and healthy always. God bless and bye for now.